Hey guys, today we'll take a more detailed look at the 1996 American Standard Cleave here. Now the first thing that you can tell is different from all those other Cleaves is the logo. Or more specifically, how it has the water consumption right here. I'm pretty sure American Standard only started putting that on their Canadian models in like 1995 about. Another difference is the trapway. It's hard to tell when you don't have another pleep around, but this thing's actually way more rounded. Right here, this lip, this opening, it's much more rounded than the older ones. Here's the tank to bowl area, it's the same as any pleep. Got a serial number in here, 142. can't see much down here, of course, because it's not a forward trapper. But you saw how restrictive that water flow was. I guess that's why it has such a long flush. If we look at this tank for a minute, then... Got all the serial numbers. Date. I think that's January... 10th or October 1st, 1996. Made in Canada. The porcelain on this is also very high quality, being this thick. All original parts here. 1996 must have been the last year they put tilt valves in their toilets, American Standard. Something I've noticed about these pleaves is it's not actually this jet here that makes the characteristic gurgle. It's those three up here. They all work together to make that awesome gurgle, as does this one. Yeah, you can see all those jets. Now the siphon jet here, here's the siphon jet. If I can get into that, yeah. Nothing special. If we go into the trapway here then, oh boy, I didn't notice that buildup was there. But anyway, if you go, yeah, I guess you can't go into the trapway. <laughs> But you'd eventually come across the trapway wall. The trapway wall. If this thing, if this camera would focus for me. Anyway, the trapway wall goes something like this, of course. Like that. It's very steep to kind of block those smells out. Those nasty smells from the sewer. Anyways, here's a nice view of the side. It's got those grips right here. This thing would focus. There we are. It's got these grips. There's the bolt hole for the seat. And those that's for the tank bolts right here. Now I do believe the other side had something printed on it. Yeah, here we are. Just a serial number. Here's what the back looks like. With a serial number. Looks just like that other plebe, the gray 1989 one. We've got the floor bolts right there. If we look in its underbelly, the 
just like any other underbelly. <laughs> There's no date um, in the underbelly though, so we only have the tank one to rely on. There's the discharge hole. Nothing to write home about really. It's all glazed of course. Just where the bolt holes, like the floor bolts, come through. Just like any other toilet. Here's a view from the front. Here's our lid, which is also nice and nice, has got nice thick porcelain. For serial number. And this one says 961.13, so I guess that's January 13th, 1996. So this thing was therefore made in January 1996. So basically the story with this one is that it was installed in my neighbor's house for around 17, 18 years before being replaced by a Toto Drake in around 2014, just a lower water consumption. And they put this in the house with the Eatons and it sat there for about three years and the neighbors let me take it in August of 2017. But anyways, that's about all for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.